We're rolling into week 10. There are not many running backs to stash off waivers. We're looking at the same running backs every week pretty much, except for like Keaton Mitchell, who's been the hot pickup of week 10. But we got a guy lurking around the waiver wire that some people like to bring up as a deep stash. And I think it's time to start shedding lights on some of these deeper stashes as we get deeper into the season because you never know what's the last few weeks of the year is going to be like especially when injuries hit, especially when you need these players the most, especially as we know the back half of the roster has some roster cloggers that we may want to just dump and just pick up a guy just for pure speculation for a lottery ticket. But this is the time to look at their rosters, look at the waiver wire, and to see what kind of upside plays we can make. A player that we're going to be looking at is Rico Dowdle, backup running back of the Dallas Cowboys and he could be in line for a big opportunity if the starting job opens up due to an injury. We're going to talk about whether or not you need him for fantasy football, but what you need to do right now is click that subscribe button. Tap it with your finger on your phone, click it with your mouse on your computer, whatever you need to do to get the job done. We do deep dives on the waiver wire, we help you set your lineups, we help you get your trades done and everything else. Click that button, stop missing out. Let's look at Rico Dowdle real quick. And a lot of headlines coming out saying that Rico Dowdle deserves more usage, deserves more workload. Keep Tony Pollard fresh in the latter part of the year to help this offense. He's good between the tackles. He's got good contact balance. He's a fun running back to watch. He's a very smooth operator as well. You see him in preseason and he's doing good things. He earned this role in camp as well. Worked his way up the depth chart. As you know, is very ambiguous. Going into training camp this year, he took it over. Also, he's had some preseason runs, especially in years prior, where it looked amazing and incredible where he was in the open field making guys miss. Rico Dowdle has some things to his game to where if he was seeing a bigger opportunity, he could provide some production, especially in this offense. When a running back's in this Cowboys offense with Dak and company, they can score points in bunches, and they're in these matchups where it just propels some of these players. And that's something we want to look at. Tony Pollard, he's not too bad. He's been all right this year, but as of late, a lot of people are not impressed with his play and impressed with his production, and that makes sense. Prior to going in this year, he was pretty amazing. Catching balls out of the backfield was very productive, but now people are calling for the backup to get more opportunity. We're not really looking at it like that, especially for fantasy football. We're more looking at it. If something happens to Tony Pollard, what would Rico Dowdle look like? What would happen if Pollard got injured? He was out for a few games. Would Dowdle be worth it in fantasy? And my guess is probably so due to the nature of this offense. Due to how productive this offense can be, especially how volatile it is on the top end, that's something you want to notice for this running back here. He has not been productive all year. Had one good game, and that's against the Arizona Cardinals because everybody runs against the Arizona Cardinals. Had 13.6 fantasy points, 21 rushing yards, also caught some balls and got a receiving touchdown. Running back scored fantasy points against the Arizona Cardinals, so that makes sense. After that, we ain't had none. We ain't had nothing because he's the backup to Pollard. Pollard gets most of the touches out of the backfield. And that's the way it's going to be until something happens to him. And if something happens to him at all, that's the thing about that. That's why we're speculating, though, because if an injury does happen, Rico Dowdle could be setting in. As you know, throughout his career, has not been productive, has been sitting on the practice squad a lot of this time. Most of his production has came this year, and it hasn't been grandiose due to him being a backup running back. Looking at his collegiate production, it was okay. 764 yards as a freshman and six touchdowns broke out instantly. Some injuries impacted him as well, but came back 654 yards during his junior season, 498 during his senior year. An okay collegiate profile. Nothing grandiose, though. 3.18 yards after contact per attempt on his career. Created a lot of missed tackles force. All right in a passing game. 
Nothing crazy though. 22 catches in his final year. That was the biggest reception total on his career there. And then he falls out of draft. He goes undrafted. He measures in with a 4-5-4 40-yard dash and a good burst score. So more than athletic enough to get the job done with decent size at 5'11", 213 pounds. He is an under-the-radar prospect that we've been watching from afar from quite a bit. Now he's the backup running back on the Cowboys and all it takes is one injury and now he's carrying the rock for a team that can move the chains and make him productive for fantasy football. They run 67 plays per game, 37 pass plays, 31 run plays, sixth most run plays among NFL teams on the year so far. So they are pretty run heavy. And Tony Pollard's been getting the work here. 120 rushing attempts to Dattles 35, to Vaughn's 20. If something happened to Pollard, we'd probably see a mix between Dattle and Vaughn. But Dattle would be getting most of the work between the tackles. He'd be getting most of that goal line work and have the opportunity to be more productive. Vaughn would get a lot of opportunities in the passing game. He would be the spell back. He'd be getting opportunities as well. Vaughn's a good running back, but... Or watching Dowdle here because he's going to be getting those money touches. And this offense can move the football. We've seen them in game scripts where points are scored. And that creates opportunities for these running backs. The thing about Tony Pollard, this is his backfield. And for Dowdle to get opportunity, Pollard has to get injured. But that's the thing about these backup handcuffed running backs. That's what you're looking at. That's what you need for them to really get their opportunity. But Dowdle's in an offense that can push the pace, that are in great game scripts, that could allow him to be fantasy relevant. And now we're at the part of the season where we're looking at running backs on the waiver wire and just really thinking things through. Who could exceed expectations if they get an opportunity to see more touches if things break their way over the final few weeks of the year as a stash play on our rosters? Looking at the schedule, it doesn't matter because he's a backup running back and we're just waiting for something to happen to Pollard for this to happen and it may not ever happen. So the fact that we look at the schedule now, there are some good game scripts here. There are a few bad ones, but we are seeing what happens to Pollard over the long term. They may slow things down with them depending on where we're at in the back half of the season over like weeks 14, 15, and 16 and may allow Rico to get more opportunities. But that's to be determined. But still, he's a stash play just in case something happens to Tony Pollard. And that's about it. Looking at that, you only need him if you need a stash running back. There are not many of them. But if something happens to Tony Pollard, then I would want Rico Dowdle. If Pollard gets hurt, everybody's going to run the Rico Dowdle. So if you want the next running back or a lottery ticket back, and you can turn and burn these backs. You can say the same thing about a bunch of other running backs who are in a similar situation. Just pick them up, see what happens, drop them, and easy turn and burn, and that's all it is. You don't need them because you already got a stash running back. You don't want a stash running back. You've been hitting off waivers, and there's a lot of people who don't need them because there's a lot of people who are good at the running back position, who are good on their bench, and I catch those questions all the time. And usually they don't have the hole in the roster to make the move. And that's part of fantasy football. Not all players are going to be for everybody. But you also need to notice a backup running back in a good situation like this. Just in case the tables turn. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to hear about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.